Hello guys, today we make cash nut cheese. Sorry for my pronunciation. It's a cheese without milk, so in theory we cannot call it cheese, but between me and you we can call it cheese. For this recipe I want to thank Alessandro, thanks for sharing this recipe with us, and plus I want to greet Misurino, that is the chihuahua of, of Alessandro, and also Stella, that is the cat of Alessandro. Are you ready to make homemade cashew nut cheese? Let's do it after the intro. Five hundred gram of cash nuts. We cover with the water, and we should wait like this at least seven, eight hours. In this way, they will be soft. Remember, cash nuts uh, that are still raw, natural, not the one roasted with salt. If not, they will be no good for this kind of recipe. They should be natural ones, so I will put the link if I can find them on Amazon. Or you should go in a dedicated shop where uh, they sell uh, biological uh, food or food for vegan or vegetarian people. Okay, see you in seven, eight hours. After eight hours, our uh, cashew nuts are soft, also a little bit elastic. Now we should remove the water, so I will drain them with a strain. After we put them on a kitchen towel and we dry them a little bit, so they should be humid inside, but outside they should be dry. After, we need to blend them with a mixer. If you have a classic mixer, even better. I have the other one. The final result should be like a hummus kind of cream. Blended our nuts, we add 100 gram of yogurt. We mix everything very well. We cover with the plastic wrap. Make some all on the film. And you should keep your uh, nuts at room temperature for 24 hours. After 24 hours, we can add the salt. 7 grams of sea salt without extra yodium. Remember, we add the salt, we work. Uh, very well our nuts and we put directly in the basket. We press a little bit and we store the fridge for 24 hours. I have another doubt. I use the yogurt. I don't know if uh, vegan or vegetarian people eat the yogurt. If you cannot or you have decided not to eat the yogurt, you can use uh, probiotic tablets that you buy in the pharmacy. With uh, 500 grams of nuts, you need five tablets. After 24 hours, we take half teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of white vinegar, one tablespoon of seed oil. We prepare our mix, and with this mix, we oil our cheese. Now I will remove it from the basket, put in the dish here, oil it, everything very well, and after I will put again this container, because the dish is too big for the fridge. So we oil it, put in the fridge, and I will keep you updated.
I use this occasion to show you that uh, when you put the cheese in the fridge without protection after he crack because the fridge dry the things too fast instead of aging the cheese will be dry what's happened the other night when I tried to remove my fake cheese from the basket was impossible so I destroyed it but was late and I was a little bit mess uh, upset so I decided to put everything in a dish and store in the fridge until today it is Saturday that I have more time also now is a little bit drier so it will be more easy to work it in the basket you can put a little bit of plastic wrap in this way it will be easy to remove it and the first days is always better that you use plastic wrap where you put your cheese because it will be a little bit sticky at the beginning so now i put the cheese in the basket i press very well and i will flip upside down again in the dish with the plastic wrap Now we put in the fridge and we wait that outside change color and dry a little bit. After two days the cheese will be dry a little bit outside so we can go ahead with the recipe. We use our uh, oil, vinegar and salt that we prepared days ago and we oil our cheese up, down and all around. When you have oiled it you should put in a kitchen towel like this one close properly and store again in the fridge remember that this is not a real cheese so maybe some crack will appear but don't worry will be good also with some crack remember to turn upside down every day after one week closing the kitchen towel and store in the fridge you can see from the color and from the texture that uh, is really similar to a cheese you cannot call it cheese but very similar now we'll wrap again in the kitchen towel and put again in the fridge After 30 days in the fridge, cover, the consistency when you cut it is like a cheese, the smell also fermented, it's a little bit strong. Now let's try it. Can I say that it's spectacular, especially if you think that it's made with cashew nuts, because uh, the test at the end it's like a strong cheese, maybe Fontina cheese or uh, Fontal or Gruyere. Yeah, the smell and the taste is similar. So let's try it with a piece of bread, like a real cheese, and a little bit of honey, just a little bit. Okay. And also, you can use some wine that you like this is a honey uh, wine meat okay i test it properly spectacular it's also a little bit salty like a real cheese i'm really really surprised because it's not better than the one made with the milk for sure but is very very spectacular
Okay guys, remember to subscribe to the channel, to leave a like it, to watch and share this video with your friends. If you have some advice, some suggestion, you can write me always down in the comment. Remember that now you can find the Brighton, the Britain, or Brighton, Britain recipe on my website. Bye bye. Inside is soft, outside is more hard. Very, very spectacular.